People in Gaza have been holding a festival to honor the Palestinians who have died in the recent weeks of uprising over the Al-Aqsa Mosque and Israeli repression. More on this event with our correspondent Noor Harazim. The Al Falah Charity Society organized a festival this Sunday in the Gaza Strip to honor the estimated 70 Palestinian martyrs who were executed in cold blood by Israeli fire during the Palestinian Israeli clashes in the Palestinian territories last October. The event was sponsored by the Secretary General of the International Union of Muslim Scientists and took place at the Ar Rashad Shawa Conference Hall. It was attended by a number of Islamic and national figures, including former Palestinian Prime Minister Ismail Haniya. We missed his presence at home even weeks after my brother's death. We used to wake up together, go out together. Shadi is no longer among us. He's no longer sitting at the dining table with us. Hopefully Shadi is in paradise now. I'm proud of Shadi, and I'm proud that I am the brother of the first martyr who fell by Israeli fire in the Gaza Strip in support of the al Mosque and Jerusalem's uprising. In other news, local sources in Palestine said that about 40 Israeli settlers stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound Sunday morning under the protection of the Israeli army forces to prevent expected clashes. Sunday morning, Israeli authorities also released the bodies of two Palestinians who were killed by Israeli fire in the West Bank city of Hebron last month. Another seven bodies have still been withheld after their relatives refused to bury them at night as demanded by occupation forces. This came hours after thousands rallied the streets of the West Bank city of Hebron on Saturday in a massive funeral of five teens killed by Israeli fire in October. Their bodies were released late on Friday. Nuhar Zintesu TV, Gaza.